Hi everyone, this is Asim here, and today we are going to start about talking about uh, sniffing Android in HTTPS traffic. So it would be divided into a few parts. First, we would understand what's SSL and what's its unpinning or pinning. So this this would be a theoretical lecture kind of. And in the second part, I would show you how you would be setting up Android 10 so that you could sniff traffic. Because there, there are a few quirks uh, in setting up Android 10 to sniff traffic. Um, till Android 6 it was easy, but later on above Android 7 it's a bit hard. I'd be talking about that, why that's the case. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's start with this. And also, if you haven't checked out my Telegram channel or my previous video on dependency confusion attack, please do check that out. It's, it's a two-part video and hopefully you would enjoy that. It was based on the poll that I conducted on my telegram channel. So if you aren't there, make sure you go and like sub join the channel. The link is in the description. If you, any, if you have any comments, like in the previous one, someone told me that the energy level was a bit low and I also realized that was. So I'm trying to improve or improve on that. Please do comment and give me suggestions on how I could do that. I'm still, it's still work in progress, but I think it, it might be a better one than the previous one. So yeah, let's start with this. So the very first question is, what is SSL, right? So if, if you could see the screen, so SSL and which is like, the, there's a successor to it, it is TLS. So it's basically uh, protocols for establishing authenticated and encrypted communication between two parties. In in layman terms, it's it's what as HTTPS works upon. Like it it helps you establish a secure communication between your browser and the website you are browsing. Like let's say you are browsing SSL.com, this particular website, right? So you see a padlock here. You click on it. You see that connection is secure. But how how is it secure, right? Then you see that there is a certificate which has a valid in the parentheses issued to SSL Corp. If you click on this. You see that this certificate has been verified for the following usage. It's a SSL server certificate. So basically the server has a certificate and that helps verify the identity of the server that, okay, this is SSL.com. And then there are some other things mentioned about it, like whom it is issued to, whether issued by, what is the issuing party, what the different fingerprints of the certificate, the validity and all that. So you don't need to understand all these to understand SSL pinning. But I'm just giving you an idea so that you as an informed hacker, attacker, whatever you are. So as an informed like netizen, you understand what SSL is because that would help you understand how the whole flow works and it might be useful in some of the cases as well. Like as you would see in further parts, you would understand that. So let's come back to this. Now the second question is, okay, we understood what SSL is. So it's what helps you send a HTTPS uh, request so the encrypted traffic is what is because of SSL. Now we know that uh, using burp we are able to intercept the uh, the data that's going on. But how, how does burp do that? And like how is it like how the traffic is decoded from the browsers? If it's encrypted, then it we shouldn't be able to see it and we shouldn't be able to modify it. Let alone send it to intruder or repeater, right? So if you understood what SSL is, now you would easily understand how burp intercepts and how it works. So um, while, while you're installing burp, you would have seen that you need to install a certificate onto your browser. Like if I show you in this Brave browser, let me show the certificate. So security and manage certificates. So, so you see your certificates, there is no certificate, there are server certificates, then there is this authority certificates. And if you go down, you would see port sugar certificate here as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here it's org port sugar, port sugar CA. So this port sugar CA, CA is for certificate authority. So it is basically the certificate that your verb generated and you installed it on your browser. So what essentially it means that now the browser press this certificate and whenever you visit a website, when it's, when the bird proxy is on. So if you click on the padlock, you would see that it is signed through the bird certificate. You would see the C as port figure. Like the way we saw here in SSL.com uh, certificate, we saw that it was issued by 
this ssl.com ev ssl intermediate ca so instead of this you would be seeing port figure ca so if if you want to just confirm my claim go on set up your burp proxy and click on this padlock and see you would definitely be like sure of okay, yeah that sort that sort of seems saying and it's valid thing so that's how burp intercepts the certificate uh, sorry intercepts the traffic it it basically um, like adds itself adds its own certificate and verifies like it creates encrypted communication using their its own certificate so that's how it could decode it now let's talk about ssl pinning so you would understand how these pieces come into place while i would talk while i would go to the fifth and sixth point so till that time you would understand how burp how ssl and how certificates come into picture to make the whole case and why ssl pinning or unpinning is important to applications and as well as to researchers and attackers likewise so now comes the case of ssl pinning so you understood that it was very easy to install the certificate and like you could intercept the whole traffic whatever was being communicated between two web like a client the browser and the website so the companies who wanted to like let's say let's say i am google.com or let's say i am uber.com so i want to encrypt my traffic and i don't want to trust any other certificate except my uber.com's public certificate the certificate we saw as in the case of ssl.com so what i would do is i would ssl pin that certificate so ssl pinning essentially means that you you in some way give that certificate public certificate to the client like let's say the browser and the browser would trust the like the traffic that's being passed through only that certificate so if it sees in the ca that it supports figure ca so it won't allow that communication and no sensitive data would be sent through that so in many cases it's required like like if you're working in a corporate organization in a big organization so there they have their certificates added as a root certificate so that they could um, for two cases so if there's an insider threat they could like sniff the data and you could they could pass the data through them and see if the person is sniffing any sensitive company info outside or not second thing is they could also analyze malicious activity like let's say if a malware has been installed onto a laptop so because they could see the traffic of your laptop so they could easily see if there is a malicious domain that's being communicated to so that way they would help you protect as well so that's why ssl pinning is used that's a very common case the other common case is in android apps so a lot of these apps they have something sensitive or they wouldn't want uh, attackers or maybe security researchers to look into their application or the application code or whatever network traffic or even if they have some secret information maybe some secret api endpoints so they would they wouldn't want you to look into that however it's always said that security through obscurity is not a way to go so hiding like hiding api endpoints or some sensitive it's not the way to you should secure those endpoints like assuming that if it's if, even if the endpoint is in public that should be secure and not through obscurity like uh, maybe encrypting through a certificate ssl pinning kind of thing so what happens in android applications these companies like let's say uber.com so uber bundles their public certificate onto the apk itself and uh, once you install it on your phone so the app would only trust certificate that's like if it the traffic is signed through that particular certificate which is already bundled into their like apk and that's what ssl pinning is and that's a very good measure to thwart a lot of these sniffing attacks so you might not be able to sniff that and a lot of those things happen so now let's talk about how we could solve this problem and how we could start sniffing traffic through that so that's the process of ssl unpinning so earlier like before so this story starts let's say 5 years back in 2016 and that was the time when android nougat was launched so this is the so with android nougat um, google introduced a few changes in the android e like ecosystem in android till android 6.0 you could just straight away install burp certificate right let me show you this article it's a very good one using nviso labs and these are very good labs they have a quite good research the articles are quite good so before android 7 you could straight away do interception you could uh, set burp as your proxy in the wifi visit this burp install the certificate and then start intercepting and everyone is happy the way you do it in your browser itself 
But now comes Android Nougat, which is Android 7. So with Android 7, uh, Google changed a few things and by default, any user installed client certificates, which are called client certificates. So those client certificates won't be trusted by default. So till Android 6, if you install a certificate, that was onto your client store and those were trusted. But after Android 7, like including Android 7, these were not trusted by default. No app would like um, allow traffic to be encrypted through these client certificates. So um, that could be possible if that app allowed, like if the app had this particular attribute called network security config, which was added into Android manifest.xml. But give a thought onto it. Why, why would any company do that, right? Why would they want a, why would they want to trust a client certificate? This could be a case if it's a debug app or it's a developer app and they want the internal security team to able to test that. So in that case, they might have this config enabled, but otherwise why would a production app have that, right? So it doesn't usually have no app you would see that that has this. So that's the issue with this. And that's why people are not able to sniff or not easily able to sniff traffic with Android 7 and above. So if you, if you, if you have followed me till here, you would have a few questions like, okay, if the first could be, if the certificate is basically bundled with the APK, why not replace that certificate with our burp certificate? That could be the first possible solution. Second thing, the way I showed it here that this network security config attribute is not set into the Android manifest XML. So why not just decompile the app, set it and recompile and sign it. So yeah, these two processes are the way to go and people have been doing this, but there are a lot of checks and a lot of um, things which break. You are not able to properly recompile the app APK and that that's a struggle I've been going through a lot. So I don't prefer that solution. The third process or the way that that's to go and that's which is I consider the, what do you say, a perfect solution kind of, that is Frida. So using Frida, you could instrument the APKs. So let me Frida data by thing. This should, yeah. So Frida is basically an instrumentation framework. So it could hook onto the application's code and change those code on the fly without like without changing the signature of the file or without recompiling or decompiling any of those things. You don't have to do anything. And it works on Android, it works on iOS as well, I think works on windows, it works on a lot, on a whole lot of machines. So it's a dynamic instrumentation toolkit for developers, service engineers, and security researchers. I've been using it for, I think one or two years now. And it's, it's, it has a lot of capabilities. A lot of, uh, frameworks have been written on top of it, which does this SSL pinning thing in, in a, in a like snap. You, you don't have to do anything. You just run that code and it, it works fine. And in most of the cases you would have this. APK is traffic going through your burp and that's what we want, right? So yeah, let's pause it here and we would continue with this in the second part. I would be setting up this Android and then we would be using Frida onto that to snip the traffic. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, press the subscribe button, like the video, share it with your colleagues and yeah, thanks a lot. Stay tuned.